Hunter Strickland. At the plate, Pat Valaika. It's been an 0 for 2 Ready effort for, for him to this point. The shortstop, Pat Valaika. Hit out towards second. Baez fields it cleanly. And a rather easy first out. Now batting. Pitcher. Carlos Into the box Estevez. now. Carlos Estevez. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. A ball hit softly on a line to third. And plenty of time over there at third to get a glove up, and there are two down. The Marcus. Yeah, it looks like the Cubs will get a left hander up and working out of the bullpen. First pitch on its way. Demarcus Tidwell stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. Sent on the ground out to second. Baez has it, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down go the Rockies on a mere four pitches. They're still out in front, five to two. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Leading off for the Joel Cole. Koo. Center He'll have it. the first crack at Joel. it here as we start inning number eight. On to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. That one's going to find the seats, strike one. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Tidwell moving in. He can't get to it. That's a leadoff single. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. Well, they've hung around. Right I know it's late in the game, 34. but that's a big leadoff single. Right. Maybe this will be what they need to get to start that attack to put them ahead. Now batting, Bryce Harper. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. First offering on its way. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. There's two pitches in a row, Matt, that were away. If this is any indication how he's going to pitch in the rest of that bat, he's saying, you're going to beat me the other way. Nothing inside for him to pull. If you want to hit it, take it the other way. And a swing and a miss. Does that look like self-defense there? It's two and two. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. One there. On the first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. As there are quickly two away now. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. So here's Francisco Lindor now, and they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Fastball called for strike two. Two runs, seven hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Cubs are down quietly. They trail 5-2. Aroldis Chapman is on to pitch out of the bullpen Chicago. in the bottom half of the eighth. Ready once again, Ben Gamble. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Leading off for the Rockies, right fielder Ben Gamble. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. Hyatt moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. Up next for Colorado. Digging in to Third try it again. Run. Chris Bryant singled oh, home a run man. in his last time up. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. 
And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the 0-1. Oh, and he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Really tied him up on that one. Yeah, clearly didn't recognize where that was going to end up, Matt. If I were pitching, I might go right back in there. Not oh. a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball no. in. Two, so two. two balls and two strikes now. Two and two count. Here it comes. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Hey, it's not that easy to make the a good hitter fielder, look that bad, four. but that's what happens when Ralph you can bring that Tyner. fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Into the box, Ralph Kiner. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Harper looks up. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo shot here to straight away right field. His third home run of this series as they open it up to six to two now. Well, he turns on this thing and drives it out, extending the lead here to four in the bottom of the eighth. I wouldn't be surprised if that keeps the closer in the bullpen for now. No need to bring him in a non-save situation. Let him relax unless something happens at the top now of the that ninth that warrants Catherine. getting him up. Jamie Rosario. Stepping in now, Jamie Rosario. He's working on a one for three thus far. One zero pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Harper on the run, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the one and one delivery. Now an off speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Bases are empty here with two men out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Who on the move. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Rockies strike for one and it comes on this solo home run. Last chance coming up here for the Cubs. It's now six to two. A look there at the Daniels and Fisher Tower here in the Mile High City as we welcome you back to what remains of this one from Coors Field. Leading off of the cover, first base the number 40. Roberto Ozuna comes Anthony on to work now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Travis is there, one away. Third baseman, number two. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Two for three with a double on his line so far. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Now the 0-2 pitch. Strike three called on the slur that time, and there are two down. The batter, number nine, second baseman. Stepping in and ready Javier. for another shot, Javier Baez. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready with another two-strike offering. Good changeup that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. 
two out, nobody on. And let the Mile High festivities begin. The Rockies are headed to the World Series. Well, they've taken care of business all season long, and tonight was no exception. They've proven to be the best team in the National League. Now it's time to see if they can become the best in the entire game. Celebrate tonight, and the World Series is next. Congrats to the NL champs. Every game has its offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no question. He was a tough out up there. Ended up collecting three knocks, including a home run. So without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching the National League Championship Series. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rockies. Six runs, nine hits, no errors. We left four men on base. For the Cubs, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. Tonight's paid attendance. 50,445. The Rockies, thank you for joining us here tonight. And as you exit Coors Field, we remind you to please drive home safely.